Okay, so in this video we're going to line up the two um, sidebars in, or the, the sidebar and the main content bar um, in the uh, in our test template page here. So at the moment we've got um, sidebar here and a content bar, and it's both wrapped inside a main div. And the, the solution is very simple to put them side by side. We've got the sidebar. What we do is we float it, um, which is basically just setting the the way it uh, flows in in the in the normal flow of things. You can look up on W three schools what it means exactly. We float it to the left, and we're going to set the width to uh, maybe maybe thirty percent. Now there's certain problems with percentages because of the way that they round um, in uh, in different browsers. Now I'm going to do the same for this content. Float left width. Uh, set to 70%, and you see that the total is 70 plus 30%, and uh, and and that should do it if we if we save that uh, sidebar, the content, and the main. We can just set that to um, to 100% across, which will fit within the wrapper. So if we just do width um, 100%, um, and and just leave it at that, and let's see what happens. So now we go. There's the the sidebar is 30% across, and the content is is 70% across, which here is is rounded to 560 pixels um, of the 240 pixels. Now there are problems in certain situations when you uh, when 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 you use percentages, um, it can cause you problems. Now if you the, 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 there's, there's two real solutions. Number one is your wrapper. If you set it to a rounded um, hundred figures, so eight hundred or nine hundred or a thousand. That makes things a lot easier because it can it can um, it can split those amounts uh, into percentages a lot easier. Um, also, if you uh, if you use maybe uh, uh, you can use a, a negative number, so you can move this over ever so slightly. You can say margin right um, or margin left. Sorry. Margin left on the on the final element on the right hand side of the row of elements that you're lining up, you do margin left and you do minus maybe two pixels, and that can kind of trick certain browsers into it. It's, it's a hack, but it allows you to trick certain browsers into um, into making sure that all the elements line up properly. These are just things that you might come across, and maybe I should do a video on some of the common uh, some of the common problems that come up with with multiple browsers in particular at this point I should make a note that uh, that IE7 and below and Opera are ones that in particular throw up issues for people when they're trying to browse it browse through your websites but that, there we go that's a very simple um, very simple technique to put your te your content side by side um, and uh, and and probably I'll have to do a video on styling once we've got our content filled up and once when we start putting in shapes and and uh, and figures into our website.